Hey there, folks. Happy Halloween. Now, uh, for those of you who watch us on YouTube, you might remember that last year I went to the Dismember Horror Movie Marathon hosted by the Alamo Draft House in Woodbury, Minnesota. Now, sadly, because of world events, I will not be able to go to a Dismember at any of the Alamo Draft Houses. So I decided I was going to throw a horror movie marathon of my very own five horror movies. I'm going to watch them back to back and give you reviews of each one of them. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Okay, so I just finished with the first movie in our Halloween horror movie marathon. It was called Atomic Age Vampire. It was a Italian film. The dubbing on it was atrocious. Uh, it was in black and white. Lighting wasn't the best, but uh, all around, it seemed like it had a decent enough story. Uh, <laughs> not a lot happened. It was a confusing at a bit of times, but, you know, we had to start somewhere. Uh, I'll give this, I don't know, 3 out of... Well, 5 out of 10. We'll go with 5 out of 10. Alright, and that's, uh, that's it for now. <laughs> Okay, next up in the movie marathon was He Knows When You Are Alone. This was a nice uh, slasher flick from the 1980s. Uh, a bit tame. The kills weren't too impressive. Just a couple stabbings and not even a lot of blood. Um, Storyline was pretty, pretty simple. But hey, you get a cameo appearance by a very young Tom Hanks. And what I believe was his first movie appearance. So, you know, that, you know, that made it interesting. Uh, all around, I'll give this uh, 6 out of 10 stars. And uh, on to the next movie. Okay, so, three movies in. We're halfway done with the marathon. And the last movie we watched was called The Beginning of the End. And this was a movie about giant grasshoppers. That were uh, going around eating people and headed towards Chicago. And uh, <laughs> this movie was just off the chain, insane. And I loved every minute of it. It's a black and white movie uh, with, you know, some very old effects, uh, practical effects. But um, still impressive to watch and say, wow, how did they do that? You know, how did they make these giant grasshoppers? You can tell they're not real and whatnot, but still, it's like, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I enjoyed every minute of this movie, and uh, let's move on. Thanks. Okay, and now we hit our penultimate movie. This was... Murder on Flight 502. Uh, it wasn't really much of a horror film. It was more of a murder mystery, a kind of a suspense. But I enjoyed it, none the same. It's in the 1970s, so you get Robert Stack as the pilot. You get Farrah Fawcett as the air stewardess. And you get Sonny Bono as a has-been um, singer on, all on the same plane. So, a very enjoyable movie. I'll give it a good um, 7 out of 10. And uh, now we're moving on to the last film. Now we come to the last film in our horror movie marathon. And that is The Invisible Man, 1933's edition. Uh, what can I say? This movie is a classic. <laughs> it's got the effects that just make you wonder how the hell did they do that, you know, 87 years ago. And this all-star cast, you got Claude Rains, you got Gloria Stewart, you know, Old Rose from Titanic. You've got Dwight Fry in a cameo as a reporter. And you got the guy who played Clarence from It's a Wonderful Life. He is in this. So, yeah, I am giving this one a 10 out of 10 because it's a classic. And that's it for our uh, horror movie marathon. 
Uh, if you like movie marathons, join us in Christmas. We'll probably do another one of those. All right, that's it.